Patch 7 for Baldur's Gate 3 is finally here, which means you finally have an excuse for an evil playthrough, with my subscribers voting Raphael the most evil character. So guess who I'll be roleplaying as? Yes, Durjael! It also brings official modding tools, which I'm going to be covering very soon, before I can show you all how to make a custom class of your own, specifically the Red Blood Cell class. We need to see what it would take to launch the game once you upgrade to the new patch, because your game may not work if you've previously installed mods. Let's find out why. Patch 7 introduced an official mod manager to the game, which seems to conflict with the prior Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager and some of the mods. Well, I don't completely understand why. It seems that having mods installed through that tool or from some other mechanisms is enough to break your game and prevent you from dominating the nether brain. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to fix this without having to completely uninstall your game and then reinstall it. We're going to do it here in just three easy steps. If you want a text version of this tutorial, like the pinned comment or leave a reply to it and we'll make it happen. For step one, uninstall any mods that you've installed using the different tools that were available for that. If they were installed using Vortex or the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, simply deactivate them and remove them from the load order and then update your load order, which should be done automatically in Vortex. Step two is where things get a little bit more involved like liking the video and subscribing. You need to go to your local app data folder, which ultimately requires you to make hidden folders visible. At the following location on the screen, click the, the view, show, show hidden items button. Now we can take care of the broken mods. Enter the app data folder, which was previously hidden, and proceed to the following path deleting the mods folder if you didn't somehow manage to get through before and install some mods through the official mod manager. If you were able to somehow install mods through the official mod manager, enter the folder and only delete the mods that weren't installed through it. This is to prevent any possible bugs from happening. Step 3 is deleting one last file to prevent issues. Go into the player profiles slash public folder and then delete mod settings LSX. The path is shown at the top of the screen. Patch 7 comes with many opportunities. Fortunately, fixing your game doesn't take too much effort and gets you back to playing this wonderful game. Before leaving, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and Starship out.